Oh, hey, Ted here. I uh, wasn't going to make this video, but uh, what, what the deal is here is I've been working on another bull, but um, I have a great-grandson that was supposed to come down from Utah, and he even called me and said, Grandpa, I want you to make me a yo-yo. So he convinced his mom, my granddaughter, that, hey, we should all come down. So what it ended up was that uh, he's coming. He couldn't come because he got sick right before he's supposed to leave. His older sister is doing... Uh, Gymnastics, she's competitive, I mean competitive, and his little sister, she made the trip. So I decided, okay, I, he wanted to watch me do it, so I'm going to make this video mainly for Austin. Not for Austin, that's his dad. <laughs> for Oliver. I think Austin will like it too, though. But I can't make one. i got to make one for his sister and his other sister. I have another great grandson right there, about six years old, and I know if he doesn't get one, he's going to be disappointed in Grandpa. So I got to make one for him too. So let me turn the camera around, and I'll show you where I'm at and what I've done so far before I decide. You know, let's go ahead and make the video. Maybe someone else want to make yo-yos. I'm that generation, if you might know. I was born in the 40s, right, 41 actually, and so I was there during all that Duncan yo-yo stuff, all the competition to get a two-star, three-star, four diamonds on your yo-yo if you could do all the different tricks. I got pretty good at it, but I never won any major prizes. So, anyway, let me turn this thing around. Okay, I'm using walnut. I took a piece of walnut about this size right here, a little bit longer, and I turned it down. Duncan yo-yos are 57.33 millimeters in diameter, which is what these are now. I've got four of them. One's in here. They're 34 and a quarter thick once they're put together. So you have to understand you got to put a gap in here for the string, which I'm assuming is about maybe three, three millimeters, maybe four, but three. But but it takes. I'm going to put a three eighth inch hole. What I got before I do that, I got to smooth this down a little bit. So I'll be sanding it down just to get it smooth and sand this a little bit. And what I'm planning to do is once I get that done, I'll start working this down a little bit just to get an angle, but I'm going to have to measure it. So I don't want it to be too far in. I'm not making a Duncan yo-yo, so I get to be, I get to work a little bit originally here. So I'm just going to come in a quarter of an inch about a quarter of an inch and just taper that in and the reason for that is I have a I gotta rechuck it the chuck is half an inch deep and that's gonna leave almost a quarter of an inch out so then I can go ahead and, and sand and smooth it down a little bit in the chuck. Now I'll put this piece back in and face it and drill a hole in it and then turn it around and part it off and do the same thing. So let's see if that's actually going to work. I want this area to be pretty flat, actually. Uh, I'll use the uh, four inch just to kind of get this to come across. flat so I've got just a little bit of a taper to it and just sand it
see what grits I have over here. Can sand it down smooth. It's not there, so figure out what I got here. I've got a bunch of them. There's 150. Artistic. Well, here's a 180. Couple 180s. to the 240. That's probably really fine enough for what we're doing here. Because I think, I don't know if I have a 320 or the 400. I guess I can smooth it up a little bit with a 400. of an inch in is all. No further than that. I got down to 507. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Okay, that's it. All I gotta do is I'm gonna work on this on this edge right here a little bit to uh, get it refined down. And I don't know just what tool I'm gonna use here. So I'm gonna experiment for a bit and get back. Okay, so what I do I use the half inch gouge. So I'm gonna just sand this a little bit and then uh, part it off. And uh, what have I got here? I think it's 80 and just kind of get into the edge here a little bit. Now I'll measure this one. Fast, I guess, huh? And then the 
240 just for a second. And I'm going to use the saw to cut it off and then turn it and I'll come back. So I know some guys just they use the uh, blades to do this. I'm uh, going to do it this way. Feel uncomfortable with it. It's pretty flat. I'll have to put that back in. I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, yeah, I'll turn that off. That's what it. So now I've got this one set, what I need to do now, of course, is fix this surface. out of the way. Bring this back up. Turn it down a little bit. short reach on it. Hope I'm not in the way I almost always oh, am so okay. Get that out of the way.
get my measurement. I want to come in a quarter of an inch, no further. That's right there. Not a very good mark. And then I'm going to part it off right almost, almost against the truck, just about, just about, just about. Be able to get it. It'll be close. Maybe too close, let's see. Yeah, I don't think I want to risk it. I think I'll loosen this up and bring it out just a little bit, take a chance with that, other than what I was doing. So, let me reset that. The other ones are longer, hopefully. Okay, so I'm right on 17. And all I did before with this was just trying to get in right on the edge. Close enough or no more than I get paid. And I'm going to cut this one off. sides. They're pretty close to what they should be, but maybe not exactly. But now I get the uh, forgiveness of this thing to a degree because it fits in deep enough that I've got the face of the outside of the uh, you know, seated down in the chuck not going anywhere, so now I can kind of work this around it off a little bit more. And again, I got to kind of figure out just exactly how far I want to go and try and get repetition here if I can. Again, I'm using a half inch gouge.
I may not like what the middle looks like yet, so we'll see. Needs a little bit more. But anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing. Do the other one, then do it three more times, and then. Uh... Okay, so this is the uh, last one of these. Um, I'm still using the saw to break them loose. I'm trying to get a consistent thickness of this. Uh, it seems to be a problem, so I finally I, I found an easy way to fix that. been doing is putting it in the chuck facing out and then this one just has just barely enough room to get it done and have a Still have a radius on it. So this one's kind of tight, but I cut those blanks a little bit shorter than I should have. But all I'm doing is coming from the center and just bring it down to get the paper. To get as close to the tuck as I can without hitting it. Just like that. And then sanding it. Start out with a hundred grit. And a one fifty. I'll do the same with the next one, then it's time to start putting them together. Okay, so I've got them all paired. All four of them. Now I've got to personalize them. So the first one is going to be for My great grandson Jason Jr. On the other side, I'm going to put my logo. I'm 
And that's Jason Jr. And then these are just going to be random. So Oliver is the one that requested these. Oliver's. Sophia. And Audrey, and she left this morning early. Audrey's. So the next thing to do is let them dry for a while and then I'm going to use this uh, Thompson's or Howard's uh, feeding wax and then I got to cut these uh, dowels and then we'll see what goes from there. Well back to the yo-yos. Good morning. Hey Lee. Yesterday afternoon I lost my battery and then it was time to watch the 49ers play. I gotta watch my Iowa State boy, Mr. Purdy. Anyway, so what I did was I uh, went ahead and put the wax on these. It also dawned on me. These things are not walnut. I don't know why I think everything is walnut. Maybe it's because it's something I think is walnuts by Ted. But anyway, I remembered not only what these pieces of wood are but where and when I got them and what it, it is as you can see maybe you can see the spalting on this one this is my drone from Oregon and I've had this since our 25th wedding anniversary when we lived in Renton Washington and the whole family came up and when people were going home we decided a lot of us would go on down to the Oregon coast actually we went on down to the Redwoods California they came back up the Oregon coast and I bought pieces of the Madrone and that's what these are so anyway I needed to get a spindle so I'm gonna show you what I did because I want to make sure they had a flat end on them so I set up the bandsaw I figured out my length that I had to have Put the miter on, 
if this block of wood is my stop, the end is square, and then all I have to do is run it through. And I end up with what I need. So now I can get back to doing this. And what I did was I put three of them together. But all I'm doing is taking medium super glue. And I'm putting it carefully inside. Making sure to get it on the walls. And of course this is plugged up. So that may take a bit to... Oh, I got it. Get it unplugged. It wasn't all that plugged up. It's really a small hole now. So I got enough in there that if I get it on the walls, you have black, I can wipe it right back off again if I get any on it. Cleaned off. Put the axle in one and I turn it. I might have to make sure they were flat because I want to make sure I get super glue around them and it actually comes out a little bit so I end up coating the axle with super glue but then I want to make sure I've got these knots I want to make sure they're 180 out of each other for balance but then you gotta hold it right on the center and you gotta hold it wherever I went for a minute at least, it seems like. That's what it took yesterday. It's a little bit cooler this morning. What is it in here? Uh, 72. It's probably around 65 outside. I've got the door open. But I'll hold this for like a minute. And I will edit out probably 40 seconds of it. This one can press down a little bit more than the others, but uh, they're okay. In a little bit, I will open up genuine Duncan yo-yo strings and uh, we'll do the test. Then that'll be the end of the video. And I'll get these in the mail. They know they're coming. And we'll be done. Anyway, enough of that. Okay, so let's see if these work. Well, they go up and down. Uh, 
going to take a while for Grandpa to get back into this, I guess. But, but they work. Nice weight to them. They do thunk your finger when they come up, though. The question would be, are they smooth enough? So I'll do this quite a bit today to see if I can wear a string down. Hey, how about that? They work. Ta-da! <laughs> All right. So, Audrey, Jason, Oliver, Sophia, Grandpa's going to mail these to you. You'll probably get to see the video because I'm going to ask your mom to show you the video when you open up the box. I love you guys. I miss you. Anyway, that ends the video. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're not uh, one of my great-grandchildren, I'm sorry. That's life, isn't it? I would have made you a yo-yo. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Take care and subscribe if you care to, please. I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a good day.